Hello, Alyssa here for AOP Tech on YouTube. Today we're going to look at enabling the new Guardian notifications in Google Classroom from the teacher side of things. Know that there, there is an accompanying video to this about the admin console setting that needs to be turned on for this to be featured in a teacher's Google Classroom and making it possible for parents to get notifications. But this one's all about how teachers are able to manage and uh, enable those guardian notifications, something that teachers have been long asking for in Google Classroom. First, I wanna give you a little peek. If you haven't seen kind of what a sample of a notification looks like. So parents, when they opt into this, they can choose either a daily summary or a weekly summary of their students' work. And once they're invited and uh, in the system, they're tied to all that students' classrooms that have notifications enabled. So they'll automatically see that snapshot from all the classrooms in one summary. So first, they can see their student work that might be missing or upcoming assignments. And they also can see their class activity. And again, if they're enrolled in multiple classrooms uh, for different subjects on their roster, they would get a snapshot of each of those there. So they can do so, as I said, weekly or daily, and they can unsubscribe from that at any time. But that's kind of what a sample notification would look like. So I'm gonna hop over to my Google Classroom, my sample Google Classroom, to show you where this is featured for, for teachers. So if this is my demo classroom, you'll see it doesn't have a lot of students, but it'll get the point across nonetheless. Um, I'm on, it defaults to showing my stream. I'm gonna select my students tab. And if your admin, your Google domain admin, has turned on parent notifications or guardian notifications, for Google Classroom, you'll see this dialog box called uh, Guardian Email Summaries on the left-hand side. Um, so this definitely requires a conversation in your school community as to whether you're going to turn on notifications and whether all teachers are going to participate uh, in that. Parents will only see snapshot summaries of teachers that have then included their class in the summary. So definitely have a conversation in your school community so that way those expectations can be set right at the start of the school year. So here's this dialog box on the left-hand side, Guardian Email Summaries. And what you're going to do is if you're opting into that or your school community is making that something that you're going to do, you're gonna slide that over and you'll get a dialog box right away. Do you want all of the classes that you have to be able to, to do this? You can either add multiple classes so you only have to go into one classroom and do this that way you don't have to keep going back and forth a million times. That's a nice, quick, helpful feature there to be more efficient. Um, or you could select no thanks. I'll select add a class. And we're good to go here. So now I have my classroom student going on right here. That's my sample. That's my demo student. And you'll see that next to that student's name, it has guardians up at the top and then invite guardians. So what you're going to do is if a parent would like to opt in, maybe a great thing to talk about at back to school night or a newsletter, have a quick uh, Google form, sign up to do so. They get invited by their email. And once they're invited once, they can access any uh, their summary will include any teacher that has this feature on the left-hand side turned on. So again, another conversation for your school community as to who might be managing that or putting that in. So the parent's email would go in this spot. You can invite multiple guardians for one student, uh, which is also a fantastic feature. But once their email is in, you're going to select invite. And parents will get a notification there, and they do have to confirm and accept that invitation. If they haven't accepted yet, you'll see the word invite next to their, or invited next to their email address. And if they're confirmed, you'll just see their name. For privacy purposes, Google Classroom will not show other students um, the names of guardians whom are not their own, which is a, a really helpful feature. When those guardians are all in, you also have the option, and this is a great benefit, to email either a single guardian or all the guardians. You can kind of see up next to where it says invite students. Um, mine's not 
uh, of the dialog box right there is not lit up because there's not a guardian in with this student. But if there were, I could email either just that singular guardian uh, or all of the guardians in a class as one, just like you can do with the students. You can either email one student directly from the, the classroom platform or uh, email everyone. Again, a great time saving feature and a great way to increase your parent communications. Know that as well, at any time, parents can be removed from the classrooms and classroom notifications. Um, much like the student has this three little dot, um, vertical dots there to email students at the very end of their queue there, um, there will be that next to the parent and you can remove parents. However, please know that when you remove a parent from one class, it removes them from all of the classes. Um, so, so you know, it's not just yours. What you would do instead if you decided you no longer wanted to use parent summaries uh, or guardian summaries is that you'd slide the um, piece off on the left for a guardian email summary so you'd opt out your whole class. So just some things to be considerate of in a school community and definitely have conversations about in your school community. As always, feel free to subscribe below to AOP Tech for all of our latest videos, tips, tricks, and information. You can also follow us on Twitter, Facebook, Pinterest, and Instagram for even more resources for your classroom. And always feel free to contact myself or anyone in the AOP Tech team. See you soon.